Okay, uh, we're going to have a go at making a mask in Sketch. So first of all, we need to create an artboard. So I go to the insert button, artboards, and then I'm going to accept an artboard that's going to be uh, desktop. Once I've got that, I am going to bring in an image. So back to the insert button, I bring in an image, and I've got an image here. Now this should be sitting um, inside the artboard, so I'll just check that it's there. That's fine, and then I just need to have a shape that's going to act as my mask. So I'll just go for an oval shape. I'll hover over the image, hold Alt and Shift, and that'll drag out a perfect circle starting from the center. Maneuver it into an initial position, and I shift click both of those items. They're selected there in the layers. And what I will need to do now is go up to the top and click the mask button, and you're done. So what it's done, it's combined both of those and I can move them around together or I can open up that group. I can click on the image, move that around and continue to scale it inside the shape. Um, also, otherwise I can move the mask. Right, now I move back again and what I need to do is on the mask, I'm going to put um, a color on there. So if I make it red and that's the for the border, and I take that up and make it bigger. If I need to move the whole thing, I can move it around with the folder selected in the layers and I can move it in and move it out. Okay, uh, what we'll do now is we'll bring in an image from the craft um, panel, which we looked at in another tutorial, but craft has a panel where you can bring in images from the internet from um, Unsplashed and you can search different categories and bring one in. I'll just bring in a cat. Now, what happens is, say for example, you bring things in from um, Unsplashed here. If I click on here, it will say, oh, you haven't got a layer selected, and that's sometimes what it, what it wants. You need to have some sort of layer um, component selected. So if I click on that. Now, say for example, I'll do that, and I'll create a rectangle shape. I'll draw that out, and now I'll place the image it'll find a picture of a cat and bring it in. I'll just place that again. Okay, so I brought in an image, right? Now there it is, and that's appeared inside that box. So say I want to create a shape as I did before. I'll do a star shape. I'll drag that out over the top of that image. I'll move it into initial position. I'll shift click both the items and I'll click on mask. Nothing happens, mainly because it's just a sh it's not sort of an image, right? So if I undo that, I'll just go back and delete the, um, get rid of that. Now a way around that um, is to just bring in an ordinary image. So I go file, sorry, if I go to the insert and image. Now I'll just bring in um, an ordinary image. There we go. I'll just make that a little bit smaller. Now once I've got that, that acts as a layer. So now if I just go back over here to the Unsplashed, I go place again for it to search. Now this image is selected, and I'll just do that again to see if I can get a better image on there. Okay, I brought in the picture of the cat, and that's replaced that existing image. I need to go back and go up here and bring in um, the star shape as I did before. Shift and Alt, and that'll drag out. And then all I need to do is shift both the items, go up to mask, and now that will mask off that area. So that is a way round. There may be another way of actually going about doing that, um, but um, that seems to, you know, work quite well to just bring in a normal image, and then with that highlighted. Um, from the craft panel photos for the unsplashed it will search and just replace that and then you can make it into a mask but any shape will work um, as long as it's over an image and it's pretty straightforward to do and what you can do is um, you know move the two different items and make them bigger or smaller or you can click on the whole folder group and move both of them around together